Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. July 7th, Gavineer's Dressing Room. Hmm, looks like nobody's here. Prosecutor Gavin's probably busy with the case too. No rest for the wicked. No rest for us either, Apollo. Let's get rocky! Rock, rock! Look, it's a postcard of Lambawa. What are these letters at the bottom? I've never seen these before. It must be her native tongue. Borganese! Borganese, huh? Postcard added to okay, the court Okay, let's record. look at it and I will see if I can interpret what it says. Do you know Borganese, the makeup no. of that language of no. base attorney? No, but is it, so it's a postcard? Yes. I wonder if it's like a standard message at the bottom, or if it's like, oh, like, <laughs> this is explaining my artsy photo of me painting. It. She's like Bob Ross, but like a really good singer as well. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, maybe Bob Ross sings, we don't know. <laughs> That's why I said really is good. Is he still alive? No. Oh. Someone drew the Gavineer's mark and lipstick here. Lipstick? Oh, I'd like to wear some lipstick someday. Oh, you don't use lipstick yet, Trissy? Daddy won't let me. Not until I learn to play the piano, he says. You'll be waiting a long time then, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's a very weird, specific thing. <laughs> Ooh, a cruiser guitar. They sold th those to the commemorate five years of the band. Rocking it hard under the speed limit. <laughs> There's a cruiser bass, and a cruiser drum set, and a cruiser keyboard, even a cruiser whistle. I'm not so sure about that last one. It's for blowing the whistle on criminals. I don't think that requires an actual whistle, Trucy. <laughs> Why is that plastic bowl of stew sitting there? Maybe they use it for interrogating bad guys. Fess up to what you did, and we'll let you eat that stew. That's just mean. It gets worse. See, if the bad guy confesses, they say, Okay, eat it. If you can. See, it's made of plastic. It's like you don't know which ones are the real bad guys. I think you need to take a deep breath, Trucy. That guitar! That's the legendary A400, the Red Badger. I thought Rock was supposed to be rebellious, not civic. Every as aspiring guitar wants... Every, Every aspiring, aspiring guitar, guitar wants to be this. <laughs> Every guitar's like, man, I wish I could be a Red Badger <laughs> A-300. Uh, it's only been one episode. Every aspiring guitarist wants one of these. They even paint their own guitars to look like it. Ah, the fickleness of youth. You should dye your hair Badger Red too. I like my hair the way it is, thank you very much. Your hair's already kind of red. Ah, the stubbornness of age. I love the stubbornness of age. It's great. A police uniform hangs on the stand here. Ooh, I want to try it on. Nothing to see here. Move along. It's okay. You don't have to go that far to be special. I mean, you're not exactly the type who's just another face in the crowd. Really? You think so? Hmm, I guess you're right. Now I feel like a meanie for making that insinuation. What's a police recruitment poster doing here? Rock on with the police. <laughs> with the police. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to trick kids into thinking the police are some kind of band. But that's just silly. Who'd name a band the police? There <laughs> is a band the police. I know. <laughs> Didn't they do Message in a Bottle? Something like that. Message in a Bottle. Please stop singing. Please. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna get copyrighted. Uh, it's I'm more, I just good. wanna move on with the case. It's fine. <laughs> this place is decorated like a high school dance. Though I think our decorations were paper, not chains. Gavineers are into chains. It's part of their image. Huh, no kidding. Ever since they used chains on the cover art for gonna lock you up. They're really into the whole police thing, aren't they? It'd be cooler if they turned that red light on. They don't have to turn on the red light. <laughs> they don't have to turn on red light. <laughs> oh man. Classic. All right, We're should we go in. to the stage? Oh, let me I want to go to the stage. All right. It's so pretty. July 7th in the weeds like, like Angelina. Angelina. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, the stage looks empty. 
I was hoping to get a chance to talk to Prosecutor Gavin. Oh well, nothing to do but go to the crime scene, I guess. I guess. That was lame. We'll go back there later. I was getting so excited. July 7th, Lamuwa's dressing room. Oh, it's you. I figured you'd come. You have to let us investigate the scene, please? Your attorneys, no? Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? Matus did tell me to ask the witness, the siren. With his dying breath, no less. Doesn't that count? Glare at me all you want. You get no snacks from me. Please. Think of the poor Lemewa. Hm. Oh well, I suppose. You did find the body with me. Great. Let's get to it. Right. Just try not to touch anything. She's letting us look. And she's not munching her snacks. This bodes well. There are clues here. I can feel it. Leave no hanger on hun, no spot unspotted. She's giving that pouty face like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Romain Latouse, was it not? He was Lemewa's manager. And interpreter, apparently. This was his first time in the country. Hmm. So I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. It doesn't seem likely. Nor can I think of anyone with a motive to murder him. Except for one person, of course. One person? Who? Lamewa. No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? Ugh! Hey, it was Emma's idea! I said nothing. <laughs> Always with the snacks. He's a big man. Or was. I don't think even I would win in a fight with him. Which is why whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. We've sent a request to the Bo Borginian. Bo Borginian Embassy. Embassy. Wow! What is wrong with me? Sea Bass! I even know how to say Embassy. Why did I say Embassy? I don't know! <laughs> Why did you? I don't know. We've sent a request to the Borginian Embassy for more info on him. Oh my gosh. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. Y you do? That's true. It was us who found the body. What? <laughs> hmm. I guess that's what I miss for watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. Well, we know the crime took place during the concert. And... And when we heard the shot and entered the room, the killer was already gone. What? But that doesn't make sense. You came in when you heard the shot and no one was here? How did they leave the room? Hmm, that window's a little too small, isn't it? Unless if it was a child who murdered... But what, how, else, how big is that piano player? He's small, probably. He's small? Is he, like, Cody-sized small? He's bigger than Cody. Okay. The kid in his, not the dog. Yeah. yeah. The mystery of the disappearing killer. Yeah. This is like Boxcar Children. Yeah, I remember that Boxcar Children book where a guy got murdered backstage no! violently. <laughs> no, but, like... That sounds like a title that would be in there. The Boxcar Children and the Turnabout Serenade. Yeah, no, I remember no, that. No, <laughs> the disappearing killer. Oh. Huh, another ladder. Actually, it's technically a step ladder. Well, hello, Miss Fancy Pants. Please forgive my lack of ladder discrimination. I'm less worried about the step ladder and more worried about why it's there. Why is the ladder there? Well, it's a climb, right? To reach something on the ceiling? They went out through the vent. I still say it's a stepladder. Check out that vent. What's wrong, Apollo? Your mouth was catching flies. Ah? Um, nothing. It's nothing. Maybe that's how the killer escaped. That's what you were thinking, right? Eh. When we arrived on the scene, the killer had already fled. He or she must have had a way out. And that air vent is one possibility. But it's much too small. Hmm. Not if the killer were about your size, Trucy. I didn't do it! Eh? I was cutting up the dance floor, thank you very much. I know, I know! Of course I don't think you did it! It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? I feel like Apollo's voice is slowly morphing into the Phoenix voice. That's fine, because Phoenix is slowly, like, so morphing getting, into, like, like the, hobo. I'm an old man, hobo. I'm an old man. There's another Gavineer's poster here. 
I'm just about sick of seeing those, personally. Maybe I'll tear it down! Haha! <laughs> no tampering with the crime scene, Emma! Hmm. Maybe there's something else I can tear to shreds. D don't look at me! <laughs> Emma's so grumpy, it's great. Uh, uh, Apollo! Look at that thing! It's huge! That That's a TV! Um, yeah, a wide flat screen TV. I want one of those. You'll be wanting for a long time for your salary, Junior. Wait till you're as famous as Mr. Wright was, then dream. I don't think Daddy was ever rich, even when he was in law. Great! Just stop all my dreams, why don't you? <laughs> to be fair, Phoenix Wright had like maybe three years of yeah. doing stuff, and then he was like, well. A lot of them pro bono. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Apollo, can I eat some of those, please? Absolutely not. I know, I know. Still, I yearn. Look, you're not the only one eyeing that fruit here. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it! Are you too crazy? Emma, you of all people should know better. She tempted me. She's she's a temptress. Please grow up. This is great. Oh, wait. No, I, I was trying to examine the couch. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Lame. Oh, what a pretty brooch! Brooch. <laughs> it's a brooch. She's pronouncing it brooch, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, what a pretty brooch! Oh, Emma. You're not going to say, can I have it, please, are you? Oh. Look, you may be a cute little girl of 15, but that doesn't get you any special treatment with me. Oh. It's not healthy to envy the young, Emma. It's not about envy. It's about tampering with the evidence. Note to self, Emma lacks a sense of humor. Use caution. You need to learn to respect your elders a little. Something seems so familiar about- Oh, wait. Oh, is that how you say- is It's that... a brooch! Is... No, no, no. I know how you... I know you say it, brooch. Is that how you spell brooch? Yeah. I thought there was an A instead of another O. No, it's two oh. O's, I think. My bad. Sorry. Unless if they really made the worst spelling errors. Something seems so familiar about that brooch. Brooch it. Okay. My bad. That doesn't look like the way you would spell it. Yeah. Though. And it's in character for Trucy to pronounce it a brooch. It's so. brooch! That speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. Ah, that's for monitoring the stage from this room. Monitoring? It pipes in a real-time feed from the stage microphones. Useful for knowing when your set's coming up. Yes, I seem to recall it being loud and vaguely musical. <laughs> it made it hard to hear Mr. Latus's last words. Are these bullet holes? Looks like it. There are two here in the wall. From the look of it, the victim was shot once in the shoulder. The first shot must have missed. But there are two holes. Wouldn't it mean two misses? The murder weapon's a 45 caliber re revolver. It's pretty powerful. I believe what we're seeing here is the mark left by the second bullet after it passed through his shoulder. Ouch! Sounds painful. No kidding. I wonder about this murder weapon. Is that everything? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's everything on this side. Oh yeah, you're dead. That's a body, isn't it? Sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. Yeah! Go ahead, Apollo. You first. Me? No, you should go first, Trucy. Really? Will you two stop bickering and get over here? She's munching on snack who's again. Hope she's not too annoyed. Apollo, look at this hand! Hmm, he's holding something. Hey, no touching! You can throw all the snacks at me you'd like, Emma, but sooner or later, you're going to run out of them. Hmm, you raise a good point. <laughs> I'm a bit intrigued by this scene. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, see there? He's holding something! What? <laughs> you... What's this? A key ring? You think it might belong to the killer? Certainly a possibility. What an unusual key ring, and what unusual keys. This could be a vital clue. Key ring, I just It's a heart record. shape. Eee, is that blood? Um, why don't you examine this one, Apollo? You know more about uh, red stuff than I do, yup. Says who? Something is strange about this blood, though. Is that what it looks like? Somebody just really spilled spaghetti sauce on the floor there uh, by coincidence. Oh, SpaghettiOs. Look, 
There's a little window over there. Maybe the killer escaped through that. It's barely big enough for me to get my head through. Not to mention, it only opens a crack. What? I was just saying it's possible. Right, right, no harm in that. Except I'm pretty sure it is impossible. You could peek into the room through it, though, you know? That's true. Seeing these mirrors lined up like that makes me think I'm really in a dressing room. You are in a dressing room. Hmm, this must be makeup. I've never heard of most of these brands. Maybe they're Boginian? Borginian. Well, I haven't got a clue, and I doubt those are. I thought she was gonna be like, man, what's this, Sephora? <laughs> what an amazing bouquet. I mean, it's giant. Not sure I approve. It'd be better if this flower was a bit more... Oh! Yeah, the flower fell off! What happened to preserving the crime scene, Emma? It's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll just put it back, see? How scientific. I thought it was gonna be- it would be better if it was a bunch of snackoos in a bouquet. Yeah. I, having the food bouquet is great. Food bouquets are a thing, and they are amazing. You say bouquet or bouquet? I say bouquet. I say bouquet. Bouquet? Nice bouquet of flowers. Nice bouquet of flowers. Bouquet sounds like you're from Not like- not bow. It's like bow. Bow? Yeah, bouquet. It sounds like you're from Tallahassee. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is the murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver? That's right. A big 45 caliber revolver. Well, I wonder who brought this in here. I thought only police were allowed to have one of those. This is America! Anybody can have, have any guns. kind of gun anywhere, anytime, no. for any reason. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, everybody. <laughs> Why are you giving me that look? I didn't do it! I did it! Listen, I was out in the hall eating snack hoos when it happened. I know, I know! No one here thinks you did it, Emma! It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? Wait, if the killer brought a revolver, it must mean they had planned this from the start. That's right, right? Revolver added to the court record. Is there? No, there's not another talking point today. Maybe we'll hit the stage? You always carry that around, don't you? Just like Mr. Wright. Huh? It's good to never let yourself forget who you are. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Come to think of it, why do I carry this around? Though well, I suppose that's one compliment it's got me. Yeah, like the one time out of like 50. Yep. Look at the ballistic marking. Oh, you know what you should do when you get a gun? Look right down the barrel of it <laughs> with your finger on the trigger. <laughs> no. Yikes! Don't point that thing at me! Don't worry. I'm an old hand with fire arms. I have one that shoots bullets. I don't want it shooting any bullets, thank you. Not those bullets, silly. My gun shoots, shoots bullets. The magic cat. A cat comes out of a gun? I can tell by your expression you've never heard of that trick. It's a great one. Honestly, that one sounds halfway interesting. I want to see bullets the magic cat get shot at. Meow! <laughs> it's probably not as fat as our old cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, our fat cat. The middle of the weapon is a revolving chamber. That's where you load the bullets. A revolver, see? Oh, like our nerf gun that we had. Yes. Uh, that, but I'm, I'm just trying to put it in um, Marty terms that I can understand. Sure. Revolver. Revolver. That sounds a bit like Wonder Bar. Especially if you say it really fast. Uh, I guess. You know what I always used to think? I used to think that the closest sound to Wonder Bar was one lever. There's just so many words in the world, Apollo. Isn't it amazing? So many different words, so many different people. People like Trucy. Well, you'll hit the stage, and then all will be made clear. I don't think anyone's out on the stage. Aw, but I thought we'd have to trigger something. Let's go to- Actoon! Actoon! What are we supposed to do? What do we do? And we gotta, we gotta get him. Maybe present. Hmm, sorry. I can't comment on anything not scientifically relevant. I am a forensic scientist, after all. A self-styled one, at least. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> I like that pose of hers, though. That's yeah, it's nice. good. 
So this is the murder weapon? This revolver is incredibly heavy. It's been fired twice. You can still smell the gunpowder. Ugh. That's odd. Why did the person just shoot the guy and then just like, toss the gun and leave it at the crime scene? Well, it might be planted. I mean, uh, or it might be like, why are you mugging around that gun? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, stage prop. <laughs> that's odd. What's odd? Hmm? Uh, oh, nothing. Hey, no fair. Tell us. It's just something about this revolver seems strange. Like it's from a foreign country. Strange? Oh, that's right. Forgot. Always present the guns. This is America. Present the gun to everybody. What do you think about this revolver? Well, it's pretty big and heavy. That's right. It's a 45 caliber. That makes it one of the deadliest revolvers around. Even the police don't carry guns these big. Really? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You don't need so much power to kill at such a close range. It's overkill. They probably were gonna ki try and kill them from the audience. And then they were oh, like, well. and then they were like, oh wait, she's not coming out for Act Three. Let's oh, guess we could just kill his body. Guess we guys will just kill Obi Wan then. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I'm not sure I see the problem. I mean, whenever I go out to eat curry, I order extra spicy just to be sure it's spicy. Of course, I can only ever eat one or two bites. Um, and that's not a problem. There's another thing about the gun that's this big. It puts a lot of strain on the shooter. Strain? Yeah, say if you were to fire this revolver, the recoil would probably dislocate your shoulder. Ouch! It's like the shooter's a victim too! Yet, the killer used this revolver, and quite well. I'm guessing whoever did it was used to shooting. Used to shooting a high caliber weapon? Hmm. Maybe one of the band members. Maybe that weird guy that has the sharks. The shark <laughs> Marty's already suspecting Darian. Darian? Or Damien or whatever? His no, name his is? name was Darian. Darian? Yeah. <laughs> Damien. Oh, you know why I was we like. We might meet a Damien in a future yeah, game. Yeah, you know why I was like, Darian. I think that's um when they dubbed Sailor Moon, the tuxedo mask guy that throws the roses is named Darian. But she always says it like, Darian. I'm like, yeah, that's this guy. Oh, it's like, um,. Darren, the guy with purple hair and the big nose from Fire Emblem. I mean... Who's like, my son Eric is great! And he's like wearing the gold armor. <laughs> oh, in uh, Fire Emblem 7? When I say Fire Emblem, I mean Fire Emblem oh, 7. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Eric with the purple hair. It's like No, nope. mm. Darren has the purple hair. Eric is his son who has brown hair. Apparently he married a normal looking woman. <laughs> Apparently. Well, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've talked about everything now. I think we've looked at just about everything and talked about everything there is. I guess you're right. I know how you're feeling. It's hard to know when to stop. But anything more involved has to wait until the squad gets here. Ah, uh, I suppose. I'll go report the evidence. Sorry, but could you wait here till I get back? Huh? Oh, actually, we have to- Great, thanks! She left. What do we do, Apollo? She told us to wait. Great. Now how am I supposed to investigate? Oh well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's go! Huh? Go? Time's a wasting, Apollo. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Well, that's true, but... On second thought, why not? I'm sure everything will be fine. Um, that's not gonna be... They're gonna tamper with the evidence. They're gonna have two dead bodies on the ground when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> They're just Four. They all just get shoved up. in the noodle stand. <laughs> carried <laughs> off. Dumped in the river. Of course it will. Let's go. Also, it, that poster for, like, if you look at it at the corner of your eye, it looks like a person's mouth, like, yeah, I saw that, I'm like, ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. July 7th, She's like, what the backstage heck? hallway. You left. Um. Ah! Who, who's there? It's Mustard Man. Colonel Mustard. I didn't know you would be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call him that. We, we didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly. Whoever that was, he sure looked suspicious. His tuxedo mask. No, tuxedo mask wears all black. Oh, he does? Yeah, he wears all black because he looks like he's wearing a tuxedo. And then he's got a mask. And then he's like, oh, Sailor Moon, you must believe in your heart. <laughs> and like throws <laughs> a flower. You must believe in yourself. <laughs> throws a Basically. flower and she's like, but you didn't do anything. He's like, yeah. And then he just flies off. She be, he basically, That's like, he, weird. he's, like, the worst, like, helpful person. 
Worse Basically, than Fee from Skyward Sword? <laughs> I mean, no. Master, I'm here to tell no, you, you that your, your Wii batteries remote batteries are, are running die. low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of it's just like tuxedo mask kind of. Are you serious? He's Don't done me? some good stuff. Oh, he can dress up as Santa Claus. <laughs> I remember Santa? like our brother Link uh, like watched one of the Sailor Moon movies and was like, yeah, there's just like this dude who dressed up as Santa Claus and then was like, surprise! I'm like, oh, that must have been Tuxedo Mask. Had to have been. Okay, That's then. pretty weird. Uh, so I, don't, I don't even know the context. I'm sure it made sense I didn't know Link watched. It, it's because of his wife. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We're finally going to the stage, Marty. Yeah! <laughs> July 7th in stage. the Weems. What is it with today? Problem after problem, Achtun! You ain't kidding. It's the two leading members of the Gavineers, Apollo. Clavier on vocals, and Darian on guitar. They're so cool! I have a hard time thinking of Clavier as anything but a prosecutor, honestly. Huh? What are they arguing about? Probably the case, I bet. My hog won't start, my guitar case is busted, my guitar's been burnt to a crisp, but to top it off, something's dead! <laughs> Something's dead. Something's dead. <laughs> this rat died on my way here. Oh, and this guy's dead too. Two. <laughs> just then, then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? Hey man, don't blame me. You were the one who missed the cue. Me? Miss a cue? How could I conceivably get the most important part of that song wrong? How? And what was all that tinny playing of yours? Who you calling tinny? Sounds like they're having a spat. One of those differences in musical direction bands they're always splitting up over. This is hardly the time. Hmm? What are you two doing here? Ah, uh, um, hiya. We, we were just discussing the investigation, if you don't mind. Sorry, wait, you were what? Listen, you need to confirm that with the Republic of Borginia, Detective Crescend. Right, anything else? What did he just call him? Detective? Chrysanthemum? <laughs> Chrysand. Oh, I thought it was Chrysanthemum. No. For there was second. no T-H anywhere in there. It, it sounded like it slightly. Ah, he slurred it. Greetings. Ooh, he looks like a shark. <laughs> Darian Chrysand. Criminal Affairs Division 3. <laughs> also, I didn't realize his hair was like that until he turned it. <laughs> or oh, yeah. <laughs> well, when I saw him in the, um... The silhouette at the beginning. In the silhouette at the beginning, I'm like, who is the shark hair? And then I... Then it was him. Ah, uh, uh, hello. Criminal Affairs? Ah, <sighs> Paulo. You really don't know anything about the Gavineers, do you? Something tells me that's about to be remedied. I don't care if there's a Dell update to do <laughs> now. Back to this. <laughs> um, about the crime. Which crime do you mean? The murder! What else? <laughs> oh, that. For me, today has been a hit parade of crimes, you see. Prosecutor Gavin was singling, singing the blues earlier, wasn't he? Something about his hog and his guitar case. He's singing the country. My hog died, the dog died, my girlfriend left. <laughs> have you seen, have you you seen, gonna... have you seen the meme where it's like, with like self-driving cars coming out, pretty soon we'll have a country song about your car leaving you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid you know more about the killing of Mr. Latouse than I do. For now, at least. Huh? You were the one who found his body, yeah. While we were in the middle of, perfor of a performance, no less. Aren't you going to examine the crime scene, Prosecutor Gavin? I'll leave that to Fräulein Detective. Wouldn't want to step on her toes. They're not exactly best buddies, are they? Emma and Prosecutor Sky, I mean. Er, Prosecutor, Prosecutor Sky! Sky. <laughs> Prosecutor Sky! Prosecutor well, there Gavin! Is, there is a Prosecutor Sky, but she might, she might still be in prison. I don't really know. Is she now? I mean, she was. She was, did work with Damon Gant. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, poor, poor Prosecutor Sky. Yeah. Well, what to, what to do next? Uh, we've already checked out the scene. Prosecutor Gavin may be right. We might be the most informed for once. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin can shed some light on things we've found. Why don't we want to talk with him? I don't believe you, Apollo. How can you come to this concert and not know about the Gavineers? It's not surprising. Why, even our ancestors knew nothing of America's existence once. <laughs> um, I know America exists. <laughs> we live in it. Yeah. The Gavineers aren't just an average rock band, Apollo. Each member is connected to the police somehow. The police? 
The real police. By day they pack heat, but by night they heat up the stage. By day those lips interrogate, by night they sing songs of unrequited passion. Um, okay. They debuted seven years ago with 13 years hard time for love. Then came love with no chance of parole. And my boyfriend is this prosecution's witness. <laughs> I want to hear that song. <laughs> Me too. The list of hits goes on and on. This here's my right hand man, Darian Crescent. Yeah, we'll see how long he stays your right hand man. <laughs> I make the melodies and he attacks them with his guitar. He's a bit of a rogue, really. <laughs> and this guy's a bit of a perfectionist. When a performance goes the least bit wrong, it goes into this funk. Just like today. I hope a murder would be a bit more off-putting than a ruined concert. The concert today! What a disaster! I'll get to the bottom of this and then we'll see who missed a Q. The missed Q? They were arguing about that before. Great. I love nothing more than questioning tormented artists. This reminds me of... Do you remember when we were hearing about that group of people that tried to make a shark-themed band? Oh, yeah! <laughs> do you remember them near us? Yes! It was, like, I, all dads or something. It's, like, the the best-hit shark-themed band in the county. Is, yeah, and the, the only, only shark-themed shark -themed band, band in, in the, the county. county. <laughs> What's this Miss Q you keep talking about? Aha! You heard it, didn't you? From the audience? Um, actually, I didn't notice anything. See? No amateur's gonna pick up on that! Can you guarantee an entire audience of amateurs? No! Now take a listen to this. What's that? A mixing board. We used it to record our concert tonight. Aren't we supposed to be investigating a murder? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be back where Emma's told you to be? <laughs> well, we've come this far. Might as well go all the way. I already- I always wanted to learn about the recording industry. Me too. Please. Please tell us. If only your friend Steven was here, he'd probably be like, Oh, this is so cool! I know, he'd be all about it. <laughs> this is one of the devices used in recordings. Guilty love. We're a five-part band. This lets us record each member's performance separately. You use the sliders to adjust the volume for each part. Check it out. Wow, neat! So, could you say, hear only the drum part? Of course. That's how we'll find the criminal guilty of missing his cue tonight. <laughs> I'm more concerned with the other criminal, the one who kills people. You want help on the case? This is then great. help me with mine. I guess rock and roll comes before prosecuting. <laughs> Let's begin. First, we bring up the part of the performance in question. You simply choose the section of the song you wish to hear on the bottommost bar. Like so. Oh. There it is. Now listen. Was something wrong? You couldn't hear it? Listen again closely. Uh, the timing's a little off, isn't it? You see? There, right at the most important part. And even an amateur can hear it. I still couldn't hear it. <laughs> an amateur with a mixing board, maybe. <laughs> You're missing the point. We'll never step our crime if until that we're perfect. Perfect. Here he goes again. Right, air amateur, you will prove my point. Huh? Me? You'll find the missed cue. You'll tell us which instrument, which part is the guilty party. <laughs> oh boy. I think it's the drums. <laughs> but how? Did I not just explain it? Use these sliders to adjust the volume <laughs> for each part. I just realized. What? My friend Gavin was the guy who was... We had a band in high school, and he was the dude who could not play the drums that played the drums. He, like, could not hear the rhythm, and so he'd always be, like, slightly off with the drums. <laughs> then you will find the part that hopelessly bungles the cue. You'll find it with your untrained amateur ears. Nothing to do but try, Apollo. I guess... I'll admit, this looks kind of fun. First, a quick review. Use the slide. Yes, we get it. <laughs> we don't care. We, we don't, don't need no We know how to education. play games. Education. Oh, click on the number to present the wrong one. Oh. Time to rock. All right. Literally, we're just going to go to there. 
and then we're gonna turn down one instrument at a time. All right, let's turn that down. Oh wait, do you want just one up first? Just one up first. Because we can hear, I can hear beat. He's good, he's good to go. Okay, try two. I think it was two! <laughs> <laughs> I think it was two! This part is off. Which part is that? Hmm, second guitar. Uh, it was you, Darian! Ah, uh, well, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Ah, oh, well, that's all you have to say! That kind of attitude lets killers walk free, Darian! <laughs> Here they go again. I like, like, Clavier has, like, a German, a slight faux German accent, and then when he gets upset, it completely he goes, goes away. away. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a good idea to ask about the concern, or the concert. It's starting to feel like we're just wasting time. It's all experience under our belts. That can't be bad. Mixing board and the court record, y'all. We need to pull that out during trial and just be like, <laughs> Mr. Justice, stop playing music. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. If, he, if Prosecutor Gavin can play music, then so can we! Yeah, that's true. Every time Gavin's theme plays in court, he's actually playing it in court. Yeah. I still can't get over the title for that song. Guilty Love. Yeah, so, Clavier Gavin's theme is Clavier Gavin, Guilty Love. Or, also I've heard it said, Clavier Gavin, Love, Love, Guilty. <laughs> love, Love, Guilty. <laughs> that's funny. Oh yeah, we can examine stuff on the stage. Look at all these electronic devices. I'm guessing they have to something to do with sound. Well, I guess when we can fiddle. Hmm, let's see here. Don't touch that! A healthy curiosity is the key to a good investigation. When in doubt, fiddle. That's what Daddy always says. They should require parental testing, clearly. <laughs> wow, that piano looks much bigger up close. Ma ma machi? Machi. Machi. Okay, cool. Like mochi, but machi. Machi, yeah. Machi played so beautifully. Yeah, like a real pianist. That's just silly, Apollo. How can you call someone as good as Machi a real pianist? Why, that's like throwing him in the same class as Daddy! Good thing Mr. Wright didn't hear that one. I mean, Mr. Mr. Wright is pretty, like, yeah, I he's... suck at piano, but yeah. I'm great at poker. <laughs> yeah. What a big stage. I'm on a whole- it's like a whole other scale than the Wonder Bar. The lights were so bright, I couldn't see the whole first part of the concert. I'd love to do my act on a stage like this one day. Just hold back on the lights for my eyes' sake, please. You'd be too blinded by my magic to worry about lights. You probably don't want the bl to blind the audience if you plan on showing the magic. Yeah, when I went to like a Cirque du Soleil con like thing, the only um, Cirque du Soleil show I've seen, they had like lights blaring into the audience so like and then like for 30 seconds you wouldn't see anything afterwards wow it was really bad that was the only bad thing about that show though look a ladder i guess they need one to work on the lights and such why don't they just use a step ladder i prefer step ladders really is that so wrong not wrong just well why do you prefer step ladders because they're better they're so much more flexible than plain old ladders I have to use a step ladder at work like every day. So. I prefer my ladders rigid and stable, thank you. Step ladders are way better because once you fix them, then, then they, they just like- They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Otherwise, un unlike ladders where you're like holding the ladder and then if somebody doesn't hold it below you, you're like- Aah! Now like, that's a back. big instrument case. That's a case for a contrabass, I think. You could fit 20 violins in there, I bet. A contrabass? I don't know. It may look like a violin, but it's a completely different instrument. You could fit five trucies in there, I bet. Hey, are you comparing me to the instrument? Hmm, I wonder who left it sitting open like that. What a big stage! Oh. All of that's just the same? Wow. Okay. Um, that, we're gonna have to end it there. I'm also splitting that into two videos for yeah. sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll find out we if Colonel... might We might finish the investigation next episode. Yeah, that would make sense. We'll, we'll see if Colonel Mustard broke back in. <laughs> broke back into jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, broke back into oh, the, uh, uh, the dressing room. Dressing room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Man, I pray that the singer does not go up on stand to be the a witness. Because that would suck. <laughs>